Hello, Rita and friends uh, in Logan, Utah. Uh, you just viewed the movie, I'm Not Ashamed. And my name is Mark Pettit, um, the person they base the character Nathan Ballard in the movie off of. Uh, Rachel's real life big brother. Um, I just want to first off thank you for coming tonight with an open heart and an open mind and viewing the movie. Um, I want to thank Rita for showing you guys and uh, just her dedication and her love and respect for the most important person that ever lived in my life, uh, Rachel Joy Scott, um, and continuing her memory and uh, yeah, um, just want to share a couple things. Um, just to let you guys know, uh, we started these journals um, basically because I was in a ministry school. Um, she met me similar to the way it is in the movie, and um, I felt really called to go to a ministry school called Master's Commission um, here in uh, Denver, Colorado. And basically the first year, you're not allowed to talk to girls as part of an abstraction. Um, second year, third year, you can talk. But the first year you can, and I mean, you have home openers, it's a pretty grueling process. You're there from like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I worked on props for Marilyn Hickey's church, so um, I would be there until one or two in the morning sometimes. So, you know, you're pretty dedicated. And we also traveled a week every month and spoke in churches and schools around the United States. So, um, not being not allowed to speak to girls uh, the first year, I almost did not join uh, Master's Commission, and Rachel came up with a great idea, which later I would find out from Dana, um, her older sister, that, that um, she decided to give me a journal and said, here, I'm going to have a journal, you're going to have a journal, and we'll pass them back and forth when we see each other at small group, um, as well as youth group, every Monday, Monday and Wednesday night. So we would write our personal feelings and our struggles, poetry, artwork, and whatnot um, to each other back and forth. And then we'd trade them out and answer each other's questions and issues and problems and just, you know, um, keep each other uplifted and whatnot. And uh, there was four journals when she died, um, basically two full ones. Uh, she had one on her when she passed. Um, and it was just uh, a really cool way to keep in contact during this time. Uh, when she passed, I was pretty upset, you know, um, that I didn't get to spend, you know, that final uh, eight months, you know, just in her life. But I did see her twice a week and we did keep these journals, which I gave to her mother right after the funeral. And I told her mother, Beth, I said, uh, you know, you should get to know your daughter. Um, as well as uh, you can do whatever you want with these. Um, so 17 years later, she basically um, handed it over to some screenwriters and they based the whole movie on Not Ashamed off of our journals. Um, any voiceover you saw in the movie um, is actual words from her journal, um, some to me, some in her personal journals. Um, the dialogue between Nathan Ballard and her is pretty much word for word, um, uh, me and her. And, uh, yeah, I was always kind of like bummed out, you know, that, you know, these journals were that all that we had. Um, but I mean, all these years later, uh, her spirit lives on through this movie, you know, and through the hearts that she was able to change, you know, through the message that we started, um, so, so many years ago, 17 years ago, she was on the earth 17 years and 17 years later, she's still reaching out to millions of people. And, um changing hearts every day. I, I just feel completely blessed to be a part of this project. I feel completely blessed that I was a part of her life and um, her struggles and everything else. You know, she was a real girl um, who had real struggles and uh, just was in the pursuit to, you know, pretty much just show compassion and love to anybody who needed it, you know, whatever religion, whatever race, uh, whatever class, um, any of that stuff, I mean, did not matter to Rachel. Um, as if you look at me, I'm completely covered in tattoos and have been since we met. Um, and she looked past all of that in me, you know, and saw my heart, you know, and uh, that's why I guess we were so drawn to each other, you know. Um, both our hearts had the same kind of compassion and love. And, you know, all these years later, um, I'm involved in ministry right now. I do a lot of outreach stuff and um, 
just continue to spread and share her uh, basic message of love and compassion to anybody who needs it. And uh, I'm just so grateful for you guys tonight um, watching the movie and uh, just uh, allowing, you know, being open and allowing Rachel to come into your hearts and, uh, you know, hopefully spread this message, um, you know, and continue her wonderful spirit, you know, to anybody who needs it, you know, and uh, just, uh, yeah, I am, I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, and uh, thank you all, basically. Uh, I don't know what to say, uh, but um, just, yeah, thank you, Rhea, again, and um, thank all of you. And I hope you like the movie and yeah.